This is the Atlantic Soccer Media Group, bringing you UPSL soccer coverage. Hey, welcome everyone to Atlanta Soccer Media Group's presentation of the UPSL Georgia Division I West Semifinal. Today it's Dalton United FC versus FC Birmingham, and it's next. And welcome, everybody, to Atlanta Soccer Media Group's presentation of the UPSL Georgia Division I West Semifinal. Today we have for you FC Birmingham visiting to play powerhouse FC uh, Dalton FC United. Uh, today here at Southern Crescent Stadium in Riverdale, Georgia, it's a rainy afternoon here. Uh, it was raining during our first match as well, but uh, we will play through it today and we'll determine who will meet FC Atlanta Academy in the final. My name is John Reno. Today I have with me Larry Weaver. Alongside me, Larry, we have a great second match here today, don't we not? Well, if anything from the first match is going to show us, it's going to show us that this one is going to be nothing if not action-packed. We have two teams that have been real powerhouses in the west side. We can't say enough about Dalton United Academy, or Dalton United FC. They have been absolutely unbelievable this season. 63 goals, only two allowed in the regular season, plus 61 goal differential. Absolutely insane. FC Birmingham U23s, we've covered a couple of their matches so far. We cover most of the matches for their premier side. Very good team. They've looked really, really well so far in this playoffs. We'll see if they can have something against this Dalton United squad. Yeah, when they met in the regular season, Larry, I believe Dalton United defeated uh, FC Birmingham U23s 7-0, uh, I believe, was the score. So, and with uh, <laughs> with all the goals that they have scored, you, you would have to say that they are the favorites here today, but perhaps this weather that we have today can maybe even the playing field a bit here for FC Birmingham. 
but we'll find out today. But anything, it's the playoffs. Anything can happen. We saw FC Academy, uh, FC Atlanta Academy shut out Kalanji Pro Profile, powerhouse Kalanji Pro Profile 1-0 in our first match of this doubleheader today. We'll see what happens today here in this match. FC Birmingham, they're wearing their traditional blue uniforms today. They will be going from left to right on your screen. And uh, Dalton United FC will be playing, or will be wearing rather their red and black jerseys today. They'll be going from right to left on your screen. Should be a whale of a match today. Really looking forward to this one all day, Larry. And, we're just and by moment. whale of a match, do you mean the fact that it's been raining nonstop <laughs> here in Atlanta? Yeah, I think I, I think I saw a whale swimming around the track here just a little bit ago. But uh, it's been that wet today, folks. But uh, we're just waiting uh, for the go ahead here whistle, and there we get it. And Dalton United will take the kickoff here. I was going to go over to the left to Taylor Fish here. He's going to drop it back, and we're underway. They're sending it over to the right side. Now Dalton FC. Showing a little patience here at the opening kick. Playing back and forth, looking for an opening. Dalton United. Against Larry mentioned, six, 60 plus goals in season. It's just crazy to even think about that, but they did, they did do just that feat. Now there's a long ball attempt over to the left side. Drop back once again to the defense. Dalton United FC showing a lot of patience right here in the opening going here. And uh, there's a long ball attempt here. 50-50 ball headed forward by FC Birmingham and headed right back by Dalton. Uh, Dalton on the ball, kicking forward. We'll see how this uh, weather affects the long balls today. That, uh, the, the weather does have an effect on those long balls, don't they, Larry? Yeah, especially being on artificial turf here, that ball is, and it's been raining nonstop pretty much the entire week. So that ball is gonna be very quick and it's going to be very slippery to try to control the ball. So we'll have to see how these two teams handle up. Late in that first match, it really came down. Yeah, it did come down hard, and there were a lot of uh, uh, slipping and sliding players out there. But back to live action here, Dalton United now looking to move into FC Birmingham's defensive third here. Held out now by FC Birmingham. And quick whistle here. And, John, like we said, Dalton United only gave up two goals in the regular season. The first match of the playoffs last week was a 4-2 victory over Atlanta City's U23s. So they gave up in the first match of the playoffs the same amount that they gave up the entire season. Wow, what happened to that defense? My gosh. <laughs> yeah, two goals. It's amazing. I'm only conceding two goals the whole regular season. There's a long ball attempt here by FC Birmingham. Into the box here. We're going to get another whistle here. Foul on FC Birmingham. For over the back, be a free kick here for Dalton United. So again, showing patience here in their own half of the field here. I'll switch it over to the left now. They're looking to break out. There's Taylor Fish there on the left wing. He's gonna give it over to Daniel Valencio. And it's forward ahead to here. Here's a chance here for FC Berm uh, for Dalton, rather. Right, a pass right in the middle of the box here. And a shot on goal, a good save by FC Birmingham. And cleared away. Early opportunity here for Dalton United. And FC Birmingham goalkeeper is up to the task today. Assuming that was Mr. Sanchez in goal here for FC Birmingham. Called on early here. Great punch out. Ends up going out for a corner. Take a look at the replay here in just a few moments. There's a corner outside in swing here. Had it uh, punched out rather by Mr. Sanchez. But Dalton maintained possession here. Oh, nice play to keep it in and go around his man here. And there's a pass in the box here. Freddie comes out, makes a diving play in it to kick that ball out of bounds, out of play. Out, out for a goal kick. Let's take a look at that replay real quick for Dalton. Great ball into the box. Passes over. Great dive down save by the keeper. Good work early for FC Birmingham. A little bit of communication between the two refs. They decided it was a corner. Another corner coming in here through the, the sloppy wetness there. And is batted out by FC Birmingham, looking to break out of their zone now. And there's a turn now. He's got a man on the right side. If he can get it over to him. But Dalton United closing in fast. 
trying to go around his man, loses his footing, and foul given here by Dalton United. Fouls on David Eberle there. So FC Birmingham will get a free kick here. About seven yards out from the right side of the box. And, John, you our know, side. our conversation all season has been the amount of goal scorers these teams have had this fall season. Dalton United, 19 different goal scorers. That's just amazing, the season that they've had. Ezekiel Hernandez, their top goal scorer with 13 goals. He would have won the Golden Boot if he would have been in the Premier League. Indeed, but 19 different goal scorers. They, they spread the wealth around and move around. That's a sign of great teamwork there by Dalton United. Meanwhile, at midfield, oh, nice move around his man here. A cross pass in the middle here. And he's got his man here on the right wing, but he's offside. So he was open. He was just offside. So it'll be free kick here for FC Birmingham. Goalkeeper, Mr. Sanchez, will bring this up. And suspect he'll send this one pretty long here. And he does. Not to be outdone, FC Birmingham with 16 different goal scorers this regular season. Their number one goal scorer who transferred late in the season with six goals, Giancarlo Bustamante. We've covered many of his matches. But again, signs of a lot of talent on these two teams, all these different score, uh, goal scorers that they've had. And we see Bustamante out there directing traffic. Number 41. And we'll keep our own eye on him today. He moves in towards, makes a move towards the goal here. But the goal kick is batted out. And oh, a shot from distance, high and wide by FC Birmingham. Their first best attempt of the day so far. We'll take a look at the replay, John. Not a bad idea to test the keeper early. This more like just a corner. Nice little set piece right on the side. Cleared out by the defender. And just a nice long shot taken. Kind of reminds us of uh, spring back when FC Birmingham's premier team had Ibanez, who had just some real crackers from 30 yards out. Uh, I remember those. They were just incredible goals by Banez. Meanwhile, the keeper there, uh, Meza, is going to go back and scoop that up here for Dalton. And he's going to boot it forward here past midfield. Won by Dalton United. They work it over to the right here. That's Fish coming down the left side here. Nice sliding tackle. Might get out of bounds. By FC Birmingham. So Dalton puts it in play here. Fish in the box here. Oh, nice pass over to his man, uh, uh, Valenciano, but goes out of bounds, out of play here. And we'll have a corner here for Dalton. There's outside in, poked away by Sanchez and out. So we'll do this again here. So if you're just joining us, we're approaching the ninth minute here of this uh, semifinal West Division I matchup, the UPSL Georgia Division. FC Birmingham versus Dalton United. They're controlling the ball on the, on the right side now running out of real estate there and loses the ball now. Dispossessed here and set forward by FC Birmingham's defense. But Dalton United gets the ball back. Looking to make something happen here. And just pass it really to nobody. Too hard. Goes out of play. And it's going to be a goal kick for FC Birmingham. Like I said, it's been constant rain all day today. The field conditions are going to be a bit sloppy. Players are going to have to be mindful of that. Looks like we had another corner here. My apologies. But it's taken out by 
FC Birmingham now. Bustamante was looking to break out, did a heel kick, kicked it too far back, lost possession, possession of the ball. Dalton United now tried to get it through to Hernandez, but it's going to go out of play for an FC Birmingham throw. So Sanchez coming up to take this one as well, this free kick. And, John, another statistical analysis. FC Birmingham more often scoring in the first half. FC Birmingham, uh, Dalton United more likely to score in the second half. Something to think about as this match plays on. So by that uh, logic, if uh, Dalton can keep FC Birmingham off the scoreboard in the first half, you really got to like their chances. And Dalton United, they seem to pour it on in the second half. All right, so Bustamante is going to take this uh, free kick here for FC Birmingham. About uh, 17 yards or so outside of the box. So it'll be definitely a long kick here. Let's see what he does. And he puts it through, straight in through the box here. And Beza has to come out and make a play on that. That was, a, that was a, not a bad play by uh, Bustamante sending in there. Almost got away with Almost gave one of his players a great chance there, but uh, Meza was there to scoop it up. Now Dalton trying to break out of their half of the field here. Drop it back to Rurley, back to his defenseman. He's going to try attempt a long ball here. It's short. Uh, kicked away by FC Birmingham. 50-50 ball. Missed by both players, but there's a foul on FC Birmingham. So it'll be Dalton United's free kick here. And they're going to switch it over to the left side now. As Taylor Fish now drops it back to Miguel Gonzalez. He's going to try the right side now. Ball headed to FC Birmingham. And out close to midfield. One back by Dalton United. So Dal Dalton uh, maintained the majority of the possession so far here in the early going, Larry. Meanwhile, they get another throw in here. It'll be Eberle, number 14, going to do the honors. He's going to do a long throw in. It's going to be headed away by FC Birmingham. FC Birmingham switched over to the left side here, or the right side. My apologies. Now they're going to play it back to Sanchez. Dalton giving a little bit of pressure here. He sends out to the middle. It's going to be headed forward. And Fish now has possession on the left side. Running down now. He's going to try and cross a pass over. Intercepted by FC Birmingham and knocked away. But Dalton United still on the attack here. Another pass attempt here. And, and deflected away once more by FC Birmingham. And the ball sent out to midfield once more. And Everly's back for Dalton United. To take control. He's going to drop it once again back to his defenseman. Over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez over to Saladana. A little collision there. Both players hit the ball here. Now here's a chance for FC Birmingham coming down the right wing there. Poked away nicely by FC Birmingham. I mean by uh, Dalton United. That was Jose with a nice defensive play there, knocking it out of play here. That'll be a throw in here for FC Birmingham. He's looking for a direction on where to go. He's going to send it, drop it back here. Didn't get uh, FC Birmingham starting 11 here before game time, so apologize for just calling out numbers here. But there's a throw in here by Dalton FC. That's Hurtado sending it long here. Nice long through ball. Or long ball. Oh, he's, he gets around the keeper and gets an easy goal. What a great long ball there by Hurtado. His man broke free, got around, got around the FCB players and puts it in the back of the goal for 1-0 here in the 13th, 14th minute here. Dalton United FC takes a 1-0 lead. Let's take a look at that again, Larry. You have to say that was a bit of a mistake by the FC Birmingham keeper. Comes all the way out of his box, not able to control it, ends up running into his defender. Easy goal for Dalton United. 
as you see the defender still feeling the effects of that collision with his keeper just a bad decision there one nil Dalton United yeah not a good decision by Sanchez he, he definitely should have stayed back but uh but they made it easy for Dalton United there on that play. 1 0, Dalton United FC. Once again in the 14th minute. So FC Birmingham, they're going to have to regroup here. You said they're more of a first half team as far as goal scoring goes. So let's see if they can get down this one back here, Larry. And so you know, John, we like to say. This is when we have hashtag response time. Dal uh, this is the time that Birmingham needs to show something because you let this Dalton United squad have confidence and it's going to be a bad day. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. If you let Dalton get on a roll, they're going to hurt you. So let's see how FC Birmingham responds here. They certainly don't want to get too, too far down here too early. Plenty of time. That was thrown here by FC Birmingham. And just too hard of a pass there, switch there. Be thrown by FC Birmingham. Here at midfield, trying to work their way in now. But they're going to have to drop it back. Dalton United, no pressure this time, just sitting back a bit. Long pass goes to Dalton United player. Fish try to control it, but taken away by FC Birmingham. And it looked like he backed into the FC Birmingham player. I don't really think there was a foul there, but the referee's checking on him nonetheless, though. That's Taylor Fish, who's down for Dalton. But he's up. He's going to be okay. So no foul. Play on, says the center ref. As, <laughs> as Hurtado, as Valenciano, just kicking before referee was ready there. So they'll redo it here. Looks like Gonzalez will take this free kick now. And he's going to get the ball back. Nice, easy pass over in the middle. So Hurtado over to Aberlo. Uh, he sends it in. Oh, it's headed backwards. Here's a chance here for Dalton, for Fish. He's going to send it back to Valenciano. He's trying to work his way in. And he goes down right side out of the box. Luckily for FC Birmingham, not in the box, no penalty there, but close to it. Took the words right out of my mouth, John. Very lucky by that FC Birmingham defense. We take a look at this really quick. You can see right on the edge of the box here, back to number eight. He moves forward, clipped by the number 40 of Birmingham, number eight being yeah, Daniel Valenciano. Val Valenciano. Again, that goal scorer was number 16, Miguel Baladares. All right, so Miguel Gonzalez is going to take this free kick here. Just right outside of the box here on the left. He's going to send it towards the near post, and he went off the post and bounced out. Another shot attempt. Oh, diving stop by, uh, by Sanchez. Wow. They just really dodged a bullet there. Talk about just loss of words. Look at this, John. What a beautiful free kick. Guesses right near post. Off of the post. Another shot taken this time. Hand save, dive low. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sanchez had to cross all the way across the goal, the goal from one post to the other to make that second save there, but... But yeah, but uh, Gonzalez almost snuck that in on the on the near post. Yeah, his defending, his two-man wall split, and that ball went right through him. There's another corner here for Dalton United. They send it in. It's going to be headed away by FC Birmingham and out of the box here. And they're going to drop it back to midfield. Dalton will. That's Villalobos. Going to drop it back to Meza, his keeper. FC Birmingham. Trying to make something happen here. Down 1-0 early in this first half of this semifinal matchup. West 
Division One. FC Birmingham now on the right side, trying to send it forward, sliding in as Valenciano, and it's going to go out of play. Going to be a throw in here for FC Birmingham. And that's the funny thing about this two divisions, John. It didn't intend to be that way, where it ends up going to be east versus west. It just happened that way, just by the whales, the, the way of the rankings and the results. But it's going to be a fun final, an east versus west matchup. Yeah, it will. FC Atlanta Academy, by way of their 1-0 win over Clanchy Pro Profile, they're going to go to the final. Meanwhile, there's some discussion about what took place here. And Dalton, a little too excited, tried to move forward here. But referee says, no, let's bring it back here. But uh, one nil on the penalty kick that was uh, late in the second half, and that was the that was all uh, FC Atlanta Academy needed to put down Kalanji. Kalanji coming into that match, they were the regular season champs for the for the East Side FC Atlanta Academy. They were all equal on points between Kalanji Pro Profile FC Atlanta Academy and Clayton International FC. The breaker was goal differential. Yeah, uh, Kalanji had a healthy 20-goal differential there. Yeah, FC and Atlanta only had a plus nine, even well. though they had the better of Kalanji Pro Profile at times. You would have thought that Kalanji would have been able to pull away on that. Now we got another foul here on FC Birmingham. It's starting to show a little bit of frustration here. Dalton now. Burley with the ball. He's going to drop it back. And I'm going to switch it back over to the left side here. Pass intercepted by FC Birmingham, but Dalton gets it right back, but too hard of a pass there for a fish. Can't handle it. Going to go out of bounds or out of play for FC Birmingham. Here in the 22nd minute now. FC Birmingham, just really only one one good scoring opportunity so far, but not much else in this early going. It's been Dalton United's game so far. And Dalton United is going to send that too far and it's going to be out. Oh, actually, they're going to say it's off FC Birmingham player. So, going to be a throw in here for Dalton United. Might get it in to uh, Burley. He's going to send it over to. Gonzalez. Gonzalez over to Saldana. And it's going to go out of play there. Off FC Birmingham. Fish throwing, long throwing. Going to be headed forward. Attempt by FC Birmingham. Dalton United get possession back once more. Gonzalez trying to send it in the middle there for Hernandez. Ball's going to send back to Burley. Burley sends it forward here. Now on the right side now is the goal scorer of Aladores, but he can't handle it. Throw in for FC Birmingham. Perlay heads it forward here. Over to the left side for Taylor Fish. Fish is going to drop it back. Back over to Saldana. Back to Lanciano. Passing's been point on point here for Dalton United, Larry, so far. Yeah, this Dalton United team just coming into the UPSL Georgia conference this season absolutely had their way with Division One have earned promotion into the Premier Division in the spring. The big question is, there's a big level jump when you go from Division One and Premier Division. Can they continue that success in the Premier Division? Yeah, I, I, I guess it, it, you can't certainly expect them to dominate like they did. But, you know, you got a feeling that they will play well, though. But as you said, their first year, and they announced their presence with authority. As Nuke Lelouch says in Blue Durham. 
if you will, back to live play here, Dalton United. Looking for another here. Turned away by FC Birmingham, but not going to be able to keep it in. It's going to go out of play. You know, like we said, Dalton United undefeated. Ten regular season wins. The win last week in the playoffs. FC Birmingham, they're on a four-game winning streak, including last week's playoff match. Their last defeat was to Laminio, Georgia, who they defeated last week in that 3-1 victory. Yeah, so FC Birmingham had been a bit of a hot streak themselves here. And that ball's headed out by Dalton. It's going to be a goal kick here for FC Birmingham. Goalkeeper Sanchez has to go back and retrieve that ball. A long way to the fence for those goalkeepers today. So we'll look to see Mr. Sanchez send this one long. And it's going to go out towards midfield. 50-50 ball here. One by FC Birmingham. Foul by given by Dalton. John, this Division One is going to be a totally different monster come the spring. We're going to see the entries of UMA FC legends and Volpe on top of all the teams that we still have. It's going to be a busy division for sure. Uh, teams like North Georgia, Clayton International, TCSA. We have some really, really good teams. Uh, we're lucky to have a wealth of talent here in, in the, both our divisions here in the UPSL Georgia. It's a great sight to see here. Dalton now looking to break out of their half of the field. They got it at midfield now. Lozano has it now. He's going to pass it over into the middle now to Hurtado. Hurtado over to Aberle. Aberle. Clearing attempt is bounced back or deflected back onto Sanchez, the goalkeeper, FC Birmingham. He's got the ball. Everyone retreats. He's going to send it long here. Pass midfield, forward, headed forward here by FC Birmingham. Here's a chance for FC Birmingham. Good play to keep it in bounds, but Aberle was there to poke it away. Nice play by Aberle. He's made a few good uh, defensive plays so far in this early going. Pass attempt headed backwards but back to another Dal Dalton player. And I'm gonna switch it over to the left side here. There's Taylor Fish with a little bit of head of steam here. He's got control, he's into the box now, looking for some help. Kind of a heavy touch there, loses control over it. Oh, bad pass by FC Birmingham, and he's got it back. And, oh, <laughs> tipped a shot attempt by Hernandez, went right off FC Birmingham player and out of play. In the 20th minute now, 1-0 still Dalton with an early goal here on kind of a misplay, mistake, kind of a bad decision by the goalkeeper Sanchez. But he made up for it later by with a stellar play, diving stop just a little bit later to keep, uh, to keep this match at 1-0. Back to play here, FC Birmingham on the left side, moving in. There's a cross past the top of the box. One by FC Birmingham. That was number 40 on the right wing here. But he's surrounded by two players, loses the ball here. And Dalton now looking to break out. There's Valenciano, long, long cross pass. He's on side, he's on side. Well defended though by FC Birmingham. Yeah, on side was Medina. But the FC Birmingham defense was up to the task on that play. Nice long ball. So the weather, the weather not affecting uh, Dalton too much so far, it looks like, Larry. Looks like they're playing their game. Dalton, the team coming from North Georgia, they're used to the weather up there north. You got that hill factor from the mountains. Used to it a little colder, a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain. Not bothering them one bit. Yeah, so they're not so they're used to not so uh, great conditions. Oh, meanwhile, oh, turn and just wide. 
Sanchez again comes out and another more friendly fire by, by the goalkeeper Sanchez taking on his own player again. Left another opportunity for Dalton FC. It was a turn and turn and shoot situation and just wide. Let's, let's do we have that replay, Larry? Yeah, let's take a look at this. Just bad luck right now for the Birmingham keeper. You see this ball sent into the box, just looping high. Runs out to grab it. I don't think that he communicated loud enough that the defender could hear him and he just runs through him. Yeah, it took out his own player again and it almost cost him again, but luckily for FC Birmingham it went wide and the score remains 1-0. Meanwhile, Sanchez short short kick this time. But FC Birmingham takes it and controls it near midfield. Now they lose it. And Dalton giving chase, keeps able to keep it in. Pass out to the middle, though. Intercepted by FC Birmingham. And they look to turn the other way here. There's a through ball attempt. Taken away by Dalton. FC Birmingham still got it back now. There's a long ball here, through ball here for number 40 here on the wing. Can he keep it in? He can, but he's going to lose possession. But now FC Birmingham now. With the ball in the middle here, looking to work their way into the box. Turned away again by Dalton. Clearing attempt sent back, headed back by FC Birmingham, but Valenciano now with the ball, fending off his defenseman. Still has good job with Valenciano controlling that ball. And there's a through ball to Hernandez. Hernandez on the left wing. He's gonna he's got a man in the middle. Oh, Sanchez comes out with a sliding save. So Sanchez giving a uh, giving his players uh, uh, an earful as well. Take a quick look at this, John. Hardest working man on the field right now, Birmingham's keeper. Great through ball. What a pass! That was a great pass. To the goal scorer, number sixteen. Almost had his brace there. But meanwhile, corner kick here for. Dalton. And inside out kick. Turned away here. Misplay there a little bit by Dalton, but they still maintain possession. Now it's sent back out again by FC Birmingham. Still rating pretty good, but it's uh, lighting up a little bit here. But it's going to happen like this for the rest of the day here. They're offside here by Dalton. Hernandez a little too far ahead of the play there. Sanchez going to go ahead and give it to his defense and have them take it out here. In the 32nd minute now, or 33rd minute here of this doubleheader here, the second of a doubleheader here, this uh, West semifinal here. FC Birmingham and Dalton United FC. Dalton is up 1-0 with an early goal by Valadores. That ball is going to go out of play, and that barely is going to track it down and throw it in here for Dalton, I believe. Yes, he is. The referee's telling him where to stand for the throw in, and they're finally into play here. Throw in kind of misses everyone. FC Birmingham. Not really able to mount much of an offense so far. They've been on their heels for a good bit of this first half here. Dalton impressive so far. Everly sending it forward to Gonzalez. Gonzalez trying to push it forward and is headed out of bounds by FC Birmingham. So Dalton gets to throw in here. Yeah, to Valenciano, who's on the other side right now. Uh, sent it in here. Sanchez is going to have to come out. Oh, and Sanchez gets his hands on it but loses it, but able to get it back here. Another shaky play on the FC Birmingham goal goalkeeper there, Larry. And he is just a man working overtime back there. I have to say I really think that the weather is – causing havocs for FC Birmingham's communication. 
Guys need to do a little bit better communicating with each other. Oh, no doubt. It's definitely affecting play. And meanwhile, oh, <laughs> here's a breakthrough by Dalton. And Sanchez coming out again to get his hands on it. Good decision that time by Sanchez to come out and take that uh, play away from Hernandez. That was a perfect play by the keeper. He had to get that right. Otherwise, that was going to be a penalty. Was a little late in coming out, but he made the right call. Yes, indeed. Good decision that time by Sanchez. We'll take a quick look at this while they're getting ready. You see this ball sent forward by number eight. Mistake by the defender. And he just runs right out. Perfect timing. Caught, caught the runner. Sending that ball just a little bit away from his foot so he could get a hand just on the ball. So we got a free kick here by FC Birmingham about 17 yards out from the box. There's a shot attempt there by FC Birmingham from distance. Sails over the, the top bar and out of play. So shot attempt, first one in a while here for FC Birmingham. Yeah, John, just take a look frame. here. Another long shot here. Bustamante trying to send it low and with some pace. Second attempt, just not on frame. Now Dalton now, another a long ball attempt here. Taken by Dalton. There's Valenciano here, trying to scoop it. Oh, he gets a shot off, he's gonna get a rebound, and he's gonna score! And Sanchez goes up screaming, he's gonna get a yellow card for his trouble. And he gets, did he get another yellow? Or did I another player get a yellow? I think it might be two different players. Potentially, let's take a look here, John, because you see his frustration is he feels like he was fouled. Number eight, just working around the defender, loses possession, takes another shot. That's not a a, a foul on. No, that was Valenciano. No, that was not a foul at that all. Was that was not just a, a foul good, on the attack. Good hard hustle by Valenciano. Two nil now, Dalton. Ends up getting a yellow for his troubles. Uh, FC Birmingham losing their composure a bit here. They need to regroup for sure. Was, yeah, I don't know why Sanchez was upset about that. That was not a foul. Yeah, the goal scorer, number eight, Daniel Valenciano, he just moved right through the defense. They just let him through. And if Sanchez is going to be upset, he's got to be upset with himself because the first shot – he didn't maintain possession. Oh, gave up the rebound and Valenciano. He got to the rebound before Sanchez did, so clearly no foul. No, clearly. It's just I think that's more frustration that he should have maintained possession and not spill it to allow the second a shot attempt. Meanwhile here, Dalton looking for more now here as we're getting late in the in the first half. In the thirty eighth minute now. FC Birmingham find themselves down by two now. They're gonna have their work cut out for them. Because Dalton, they score a lot of goals and they don't give up many at all. So, and being down two, they can't afford to go down anymore, Larry. Not at all. And like you said, the meeting between these two teams, the first game of the season, Dalton stepped away with a 7 0 victory. So, Sanchez at midfield here. Uh, referee having a word with the Dalton players. So they're going to let Sanchez take this free kick since it's so far out. Dalton players earned a yellow himself for Descent wasting there, a little yeah. bit of time. Yeah. So Sanchez now with the free kick. Realizing that they need to take advantage of all their opportunities. It goes in. Right to Dalton player. And Valen uh, Valenciano, the goal scorer, gets fouled. A little too eager once more is Dalton. They've, been, they've tried that they've, several times now. Not able to get away with it. Referee says, nope. Let's back it up a little bit here. So... 
So they're going to send the ball back to the spot of the foul here. Gonzalez will take this free kick now for Dalton. Looks for Valenciano. He slides down. Might be hurt here. A little slow to get up. FC Birmingham trying to work their way in. Surrounded by three Dalton players. Nice defensive play by Dalton. But Birmingham will get the throw here. And now we got a foul away from the play here. And a yellow card, another yellow card on Dalton. Uh, that's, um, you know, yellow cards away from play here when you're up 2-0. That's not a smart play, Larry. No, not smart at all. And know that you see Bustamante kind of try to take control out there, being the leader that he is for this FC Birmingham U23s. It is a playoff, so, you know, uh, emotions are high in these playoff matches with these young men, and sometimes uh, emotion gets the better of them. We saw a lot of yellow cards in the first match, and we've seen four now so far in the first half here. So both teams need to regain their composure a little bit here, play their game. So now the referee is conferring with his AR here of what I'm not sure about. Maybe just confirm if he saw anything. So the meeting of the minds is done. And we're still not sure what's going on, Larry. I think we're probably going to get a drop ball because that off-the-play foul, settling that, coming back, doing all that. Our center ref doing a great job trying to maintain control in this match. Unfortunately, we had that incident late in the match between Dalton United and Atlanta City last week. So, I bet you the referees are aware of that as well. Yeah, our, our referees are aware a little bit, you know, making sure that nothing gets out of hand. All right, so we're finally... Ball's back in play. FC Birmingham working it around now. Pressure by Dalton. Causes another mistake here. But FC Birmingham's going to get the ball back. And there's another foul here given. Dalton with a free kick now once more. Here in the 43rd minute now, approaching the 43rd minute. 2-0 is our score. Dalton over FC Birmingham. Winner goes on to meet FC Atlanta Academy in the final, the Division I final. Here in the UPSL Georgia. Uh, the Burley now on the right side is going to send it forward. Intercepted by FC Birmingham. And Gonzalez there. But it's going to go out of bounds on Dalton or actually a penalty rather, free kick, or a foul, excuse me. Free kick for Birmingham. But it's been pretty much Dalton this whole first half here, Larry. Passing looks good. And as we've come to suspect from this Dalton side, they just control, in that match last week with Atlanta City, they just owned possession for the majority of the match. And we had another whistle here. So Sunraf calling it tight right now. He wants to uh, maintain uh, control over this. Let the players know he's going to call it tight. So back into play here, FC Birmingham. Had possession for a moment. It goes back to Dalton. Drop it back to the Burley. To Gonzalez. Gonzalez loses it. Shot from distance by FC Birmingham. Good positioning there by the goalkeeper, Meza. All right, Dalton now looking to break out of their half of the field here. And they get it to Hernandez on the left side. Hernandez now taking a look to see who he had in the center on the wing. Drops it back to one of the goal scorers. 
Valenciano. And he's going to get the ball back. In the corner here, moving around. He's got two players around him. Gets around them both. It goes down here. I believe we might have a penalty. I, I think we uh, should have it. Well, I mean, if he was fouled, he was in the box. Yeah, let's take a look here real quick we'll, if we can. I believe we have. We are going to have a penalty, it looks like, Larry. Let's take a look at it really quick. Ball sent forward. Number eight, yet again, he's been the man so far this first half. Yes, indeed, taken down in the box. Penalty for Dalton United. So a golden opportunity here for Dalton to go up 3-0 here late in the first half. Valenciano has just been the thorn in Birmingham's side yes, all he has. first yes, he half. Has. And he has a chance to get his second goal of the match here. Let's see if Sanchez can keep him out. He's going to go left side, easy goal. Sanchez dove to his left. He's got to be careful there. He's going to. He could potentially end up getting a yellow card for taunting. You can see right here. And referee replay, just tells him just that. You see when he takes this shot. After the fact, really simple. Makes a little silly gesture to Sanchez. Yeah, I think that was from a leftover from the first goal that he scored. That Sanchez protested and earned himself a yellow on. Certainly not a foul, but yeah, but that's a little uh, little uncalled for there. Got to be careful. Got to be smart. You win today, you got one more game to play after this. So you don't need yellows, don't need reds. So FC Birmingham really have their work cut out for them now. We're here an extra time now, according to our clock. Official time referee has on the field. But I don't suspect we'll have more than a few minutes, a couple minutes. Maybe two. Did not center official being so wet. Yeah, foul didn't see there. the center official get, or even the uh, fourth official give us a time. Little bump, a little bu oh, sorry, Larry. A little bump there on Fish taking him down. Taylor Fish down now. Foul on FC Birmingham. Yeah, frustration starting to show through a little bit here. They're going to have to find their composure during halftime. And if they, if they don't score here in extra time here before the half, they need to get one early in the second if they want to have a chance, Larry. Because as we pointed out a couple times before, Dalton, they do not concede goals. And with a 3-0 lead, you got to think it's almost an insurmountable lead. But at the same time, it takes character to not allow – those results to earn you a big head to be just blase to your opponent you have to earn the respect of not just your teammates but your opponents Sanchez once again takes the free kick here to send it long and saved by Dalton, nice, nice hustle there to keep that ball in play. There's Valenciano, does a long ball of his own here, but it's going to be headed forward by FC Birmingham. Let's see if FC Birmingham can get something going here before the end of the half. He goes down on foul. Is that Bustamante who got fouled? Perhaps. I think it was Bustamante. Correct, Bustamante. And you see he's still out there trying to get these guys moving forward. Yeah, I mean, there's still uh, you still have a whole half to play. It's, it's by 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 no stretch of imagination this this match is over. Just keep your heads in it and work and claw your way back in this match. Right, there's a free kick here, punched out by Meza. The Burley's going to get to it maybe first, and he does get the control of it. It's in center field now. Dalton in control now. And there's Valenciano again. Over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez is going to send it forward and oh, missed. And on another shot here. Oh. Went through one man, but another one there was, was there to back him up and, and just missed it wide. Almost 4 0 there, Larry. As it really should be, John. Take a look at this. Valenciano, nice little back flick. 
to number 10, who sends the ball right in the box. Missed by the first try. Second try, just couldn't get his feet right. Ends up striping it out for a goal kick. Maybe in better weather conditions, that would have been a goal, Larry. Indeed, that, that ball that was sent in by number 10, Gonzalez, that was a thing of beauty. And that's the end of the first half here. As the referee blows the whistle, signify the end of the first half here. Dalton looking very impressive here, jumping out to an early lead, and they build upon that 3-0 here as we close out the first half. FC Birmingham need to find, the, find, the, find their way back in the second half and, and see what they can do. Larry, what are your thoughts on the first half? Well, so far in this first half, it's been all Dalton United. It just nothing that FC Birmingham's U23s can do to control it. Unfortunately, you had the penalty, a little bit of miscommunication with the keeper. They've got a lot of work to do in the, in the locker room at halftime to see what they can do. I, the biggest thing is they need to communicate better. And we'll see if they do just that. Well, they got, they got uh, halftime to figure things out here for sure. And that'll do it for us in the first half here. My name is John Reno. Alongside me, Larry Weaver. We'll bring you the second half here in just a little bit. FC Birmingham down 3-0 to Dalton United. We'll be back.
And welcome back, everyone, to ASMJ's presentation of the Georgia Premier Division I West Semifinal. FC Birmingham versus Dalton United FC. Dalton United enjoy a 3-0 lead here as we get ready for the second half here at Southern Crescent Stadium in Riverdale, Georgia. It's been an ugly, rainy day here all day in Georgia. It's steady rain right now, sometimes harder, but uh, just messy conditions to uh, to play in today. But uh, it hasn't affected Dalton United so much in the first half here, Larry. What are your thoughts? Uh, FC Birmingham kind of a little discombobulated here in the first half. What do they have to do to get back in this match? Like we were saying before we went to break, they need to do better communicating together. They need to stay within their lines. You got to move forward, but at the same time, you got to make sure that your back line knows what your what your midfield is doing and what your forwards are doing because you see sometimes where they get caught out of out of position because you've got a player that's moving forward and he's not letting his his guys know that he's doing that. Got to work a little bit better communicating, getting that ball forward. Don't try to don't try to to rely on the long ball work together as a team if you move that ball to down the field as a team that's going to give you the confidence you need to get back in this match they're only down by three i know it sounds like a lot but here in the upsl three goals can be made up in a matter of minutes yes indeed and we'll see what fc birmingham can do we're moments away from the second half kick fc birmingham wearing their traditional blue jerseys today they'll be going from right to left on your screen Dalton, uh, Dalton United FC and their red and black jerseys. They'll be going from left to right. Uh, first half goals. Uh, Miguel Valadores broke the ice early for Dalton United, number 16 scoring goal. And then his teammate, Daniel Valenciano, scored two goals later in the half, one on a penalty kick. And that's why where we're at right now, 3-0 Dalton. As the play is underway here, Dalton pretty much dominated that first half. Their passing game looked great, looked on point. There's a long ball here. Nice defensive head there by FC Birmingham, but Dalton maintains possession here. Oh, there's a breakthrough here for, oh! <laughs> Valadorius came, kind of came free on the wing here and sort so, of uh, found the ball at his feet here and just kind of miskicked it and just went wide of the goal. That would John, have been a golden look, opportunity for his second goal there. Yeah, look at the replay. He, this pass caught him completely off guard. You see here, able to get the ball forward. It gets a little deflection off of the defender, and he just kind of stabbed at it. Yeah, he was not expecting that ball to come through like it did, but nonetheless, he did get a shot off, but not a good one, unfortunately, for him, and it went wide. But again, another another scoring opportunity for Dalton United. They've had plenty of them here this match. And there's a foul here given FC Birmingham now. Free kick here. Really want to see them get one early here so they can get back, start calling their way back into this match here. You know they'd like to score early here in the half. But Dalton, they do not concede goals. So it's going to be a tough task here for FC Birmingham. But they're a good team themselves. So we'll see if they're up to the challenge here. There's a Valenciano there with a the throw in for Dalton. Uh, Dalton looking to break out now. They haven't had very many opportunities to score in the first half. There's uh, Bustamante there on the right wing, working his way around, moving in the center, tried to pass off to his teammate, but it's turned away by Dalton. And now they'll drop it back, showing a little bit of patience here. They'll reset. And John, whoever ends up the loser in this match, that'll pretty much takes care of their 2022 campaign. Next part of competition in 2023 will be the Regional Cup. That will begin in January. So these teams will get a much needed break. It's been a nonstop from August until he until now. Yeah, there you see the conditions out there on the field there are slipped there by the Dalton player. But the goalkeeper Menza was there to scoop that ball up. 
Yeah, it's you know the spring and, and fall seasons. It's uh, long seasons for these teams, so yeah, they will enjoy this nice break coming up and uh, and kind of re-energize themselves. Some of these teams will for the regional cup, which we hope to bring you some of that action. Starting in January, as Larry said. Now, meanwhile, we have a foul here on Dalton, and we're going to get a free kick. They're going to get a free kick here, about 12 yards. Or excuse me, seven, about 17 yards, 16, 17 yards from the box here. So again, an opportunity here for FC Birmingham. Let's see what they can do. They need a goal. They need a few goals. Uh, there's a send in the box. Really nobody there for FC Birmingham as it was there to corral that ball. Uh, Eberle now sends it up the right wing here. Dalton in control. Looking for Valadores there. He's going to send it back to his teammates here. They'll try the other side here. They'll move over to the left. There's Gonzalez now. Going to work it over to, I believe that's Taylor Fish there on the left wing. And ball goes out. Going to be throwing here. Valenciano gets it in quickly here. Looking for Taylor Fish. Uh, Taylor Fish fighting with the defender. He's going to break through. He moves into the box here. Oh, God. Had a man out in front. Couldn't get the ball to him. Great defensive play there by FC Birmingham. He laid out to clear that, uh, block that ball, block that pass attempt. Nice play by the FC Birmingham defense. And, John, just like earlier in the first half with Sanchez, had to get that challenge exactly right, being in the box. Don't need another penalty. Yeah, Sanchez had a little couple of misplays in the first half that uh, cost his team one goal, almost cost him another, uh, taking out his own players on two instances there. Let's take a look at that tackle once again, John. Look at this work by the Birmingham defense. Dalton getting around. What a slide tackle. Perfectly timed. Center back earning his keep there. Indeed. Uh, number Sanchez here with a goal kick now for Birmingham. Number 69, the center back for FC Birmingham. Now uh, Dalton will be around here at midfield. They're going to drop it back. Oh, uh, dangerous pass there. Bustamante almost got to it. Meza had to come out there to clear that ball away. That was a First real bad mistake I've seen by Dalton this match so far. Uh, Burley sent it back, but too far, and Bustamante almost made him pay for it. A hey, wild ball's back in play here. Ball's going to go out of, off of a Dalton player. Going to be quick throw in here by FC Birmingham. Yeah, they know what they're up against. They know what they're facing. They need to score. They need to get one early here. They need to get one here soon if they're really going to have a shot at this uh, getting back in this match here, Larry. There's a small collision there with uh, Meza and Birmingham. Bustamante is going to earn a yellow, a yellow for pushing, trying to push forward there. Got to be careful. Yeah, the uh, uh, center ref has uh, had a, a tight control, good control of this match. We've seen our share, share of yellows in the first half, and now we get one in the second half. Like we Our said, first of the second. he knew coming into this match that there was going to potentially be drama with the results from last week's Dalton United match. So he's controlled a very tight ship, to say the least, in this weather. Oh, most definitely. I, I can't say that I blame him. We don't want any of the mess that, uh, that happened last time. So good job by the referee so, uh, in this match. Meanwhile, back to live action here. Air foul given. Looked like it was on Valenciano here. He's saying, who, me? Be a free kick here for FC Birmingham. And again, Sanchez, the goalkeeper, taking these free kicks, these long free kicks here for Birmingham. Birmingham just not still looking to get an attack going here. 
really their only opportunities have been a couple shots uh, from distance, but that's been about it. Uh, Dalton's certainly been up to the task. But uh, FC Birmingham, they're going to have to step it up here and find a way to get on the scoreboard here and give them a lift here so they can get back in this match. There's a free kick in, headed forward, but out of play, wide of the goal. It's going to be a goal kick here for Meza and Dalton United here in the 54th minute now. No score yet in the second half. Dalton, three goals in the first. No goals for FC Birmingham as of yet. This long ball kind of goes over everybody's head there, but Dalton's going to get to it first here. Nice through ball at FC Birmingham. Well defended here. Pass in the box taken by FC Birmingham and cleared away. FC Birmingham. A little mis another mis miscommunication there. Thought his teammate was going to get to it. Number 66 just kind of overran the play there and allowed Everly to close in and pick up that ball here for Dalton. There's a switch over to Dalton on the left side now. Taylor Fish trying to turn without the ball. Loses it. Goes out of bounds here. Off of FC Birmingham going to be Another throw in here for Dalton. And the referee says, nope, we got a foul here. We're going to give the ball back to Birmingham. So ball in play now. FC Birmingham just can't quite work their way into the defensive third of Dalton. They've been able to keep them at bay all match. And they're early now on the right side here for Dalton. Looking for a man to pass to. Does in the middle. And he's going to send it over off to the left. So Burley with the ball back now on the right side. Pass to Valadores. Nice quick passing here by Dalton. Bustamante. Give you a little bit of a chase here. Again, they stall at midfield. And a ball sent back. It's going to go back to Sanchez. He had to kick it away. He had a Dalton man coming right on him. That was Hernandez. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. Didn't really see an indication, but it looks like it's going to be a throw in here for Dalton. Got two substitutes ready to go for FC Birmingham. Number 48 and number 77 are coming on to the field. Number 48, the little man replacing number 42 and number 88. So a couple subs here, second half subs here for Birmingham. They need, need, to, need a spark. They need something to happen here, Larry. Yeah, they need pretty much to throw the kitchen sink at it and try to come up with something positive. We're in the we're approaching the 58th minute now. If they don't have anything by the 65th minute, you're going to start to see desperation mode kick in for this SC Birmingham bench. Meanwhile, on the attack again is Dalton. Three ball that's too too far ahead for everybody, but yeah, maybe even start pressing a bit, try to force Dalton into making some errors. Another foul here. Oh. Gotta be careful. Yeah, Bustamante needs to be careful. He's already got a yellow. Referee's telling him no more. No more. So I like how I like how the referee is keeping control of this match, Larry. Doing yeah, he, an excellent job. He's done a really good job. Cannot say enough. So back to play here. Dalton looking to push it forward once more here. There's Valadores, one of the goal scorers for Dalton. 
loses it, but Dalton gets it back. They're going to switch it over to the left side. And now they're going to drop it back here. Showing some patience. In command, 3-0 here. Like we're talking about, John, my my man that I love so much about FC Birmingham, number 48, the little man, Justice Brasher. The five. Oh, it was a miss hit by Sanchez. He has got but Dolph's not able to get to it. Yeah, he's got the, the, the tough task of trying to control number eight, Valenciano, for Dalton. Like David and Goliath out there. But meanwhile, there's a shot, hard shot, saved by Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez, he kind of he came out there and whiffed on the ball there. And Hernandez couldn't quite get to it. Another uh, shaky play by uh, by the goalkeeper, Sanchez, for FC Birmingham. Not one of his best efforts this match this afternoon, Larry. I, it's not an easy task to be in this rain, on this turf, and try to perform at your best between those posts. A lot of things working against you. Oh, yeah, it definitely looked like the... Uh, the turf conditions affected that play there for Sanchez, to be fair. But just some self-inflicted wounds he's had this match. Meanwhile, a long kick from FC Birmingham goes out of bounds. It'll be FC, or excuse me, Dalton's throw in here. And no hurry here. Looks like this is the lightest rain we've had in some time now, Larry. So we'll see if that uh, can help Birmingham a bit as they desperately need some goals here to get back into this match. There's a Burley now fighting off your man there, Larry. Meanwhile, Dalton trying to work their way in here. There's Valadores now on the right wing. Loses it to FC Birmingham now. And just can't quite get a handle on it. Goes out of bounds and it's going to be a throw in. And that was great work by number 53, Mahaya. Not allowing the Dalton player to hit the brakes. There's a three ball attempt that came through to Hernandez. Hernandez couldn't get quite handle it. Trickles over through to Sanchez and he's corrals it and he Long kick headed forward here by FC Birmingham, but a Burley is there for Dalton. He's had a nice defensive game this match so far, or defensive play this match. Oh, there's a hard foul there. It was down hard on the turf, rather. So we're going to get a free kick here for distance for FC Birmingham. Like I said, we're in the 63rd minute. Like I said, like Larry said, once we get to 65, it's really going to be tough on FC Birmingham. There's a ball in. It's headed up in the air, and Mesa's going to get to it. Relatively easy play there for Mesa. And he's going to roll the ball out to Eberle. Over to Lenciano. Playing on the right side now. He's moving all over the field. He's been effective for him. Two goals. So we're going to get a throw here for FC Birmingham. In the center, trying to work their way in. Uh, not sure what that was. A pass to nobody there. The defense lets it go through to Meza. So Meza and... Dalton taking their time now. Certainly no hurry. Enjoying this three goal lead here. And knowing that FC Birmingham really hasn't amounted much of a threat, they got to feel pretty comfortable with where the match is at right now, Larry. Yes, right now, at this point, Dalton is just has to maintain order. And they're into the finals. Yep, keep their wits about them. 
Don't do anything uh, ill-advised. No yellows or reds. Have your full complement of players for the final. But FC Birmingham still will have something to say about that. Already, Dalton's starting to show a little bit of a uh, the foul there on Birmingham. Starting to you see they're starting to play keep away a little bit here, milk some of that clock. There's a long ball attempt over there to Taylor Fish here, but a little too far for him, too hard. Should be a throw in here for Birmingham. As we have substitutes for both teams. We have number nine for, we just have the starting 11 for That's for Herrera, Dalton. Frank Herrera, that's coming on. Frank Herrera, okay. He was replacing number 10, Gonzalez. 54 came on for FC Birmingham. Number 54 being Alan Garcia. He replaced, I believe it was number 66 who came off. So now I'll play underway here again. Dalton now. Kareem That's Salama up. is number 66. Dalton trying to methodically work their way back in. Sanchez, hard kick out, deflected backwards, and foul on uh, Taylor Fisher as he goes down kind of hard, but he's up right away. He'll be all right. So it'll be a free kick here. About Again, about 17 yards out from the box here, straight ahead. Let's see what they decide to do with this with this one here. Goes for a long, hard shot attempt, and it goes to the goal. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. Goal of the day there, Larry. Uh, John, I'm going to have to say that's got to be goal of the playoffs. I'm going to have to say for both Division One and Premier Division because, my golly, look at this goal one more time and absolutely take a bow. Number seven. Ezekiel Hernandez wow. with the absolute Galazzo goal. 4-0. And that's got to be a real demoralizer for Birmingham now. Down four goals now. Yeah, unfortunately. Dalton in total command now. What a shot by Hernandez. You can see why he is Dalton United's leading goal scorer with a shot like that. Meanwhile, we got a whistle here, a foul. Birmingham going to get a free kick here. About 11, 12 yards here from the box. But down four now in the 66th minute. Shot in, deflected out and wide and out of play. But, but for a team that's only conceded two goals during the regular season, Larry, I, you, you can't say, you, you don't see FC Birmingham coming from four down now. Not not with twenty plus minutes left. Unfortunately, not. I just I think that they came up against this juggernaut that is Dalton United, and they just have not had a solution for them in any way, shape, or form. They've controlled possession the entire match. Uh, I. Do you think the weather has affected them more than Dalton? As you pointed out, playing in North Georgia, Dalton's kind of used to more uh, weather like this, cold and wet. Yeah, we're going to get a foul here. Quick play in here. There's Valenciano now. Turns and looks for his man. He's got through, but the ball goes through to Sanchez. He corrals it, sends it long. 50-50 ball. 
And we get another whistle here. Going Dalton's way. Another foul on Birmingham. Center ref still calling a tight one here. And that play, or that ball rather, is going to go off a FC Birmingham defender there. Going to be another throw in here for Dalton. Dalton looking to looking ahead here now. If they go on and win this match. They will be playing FC Atlanta Academy in the final next weekend. Next Sunday, we just don't not sure the time yet. Yeah, we'll find out here a little after this match. We'll find out when the actual time. Oh, here's a Bustamante. Bustamante. Oh, chipped to try to chip another goalkeeper in just a little too far out of play. Bustamante had a chance. I really the first true mistake by Dalton all game. Let's take another look at this. Bustamante with a chance. You see the long ball sent bounces over to the defender. Bustamante gets on it. He tries to chip the keeper. Just didn't get the angle right. Yeah, there were we three defenders in the area there, but as you said, Bustamante had his chance. We had a substitute for Dalton. First goal score, number 16. Valadares takes, takes a seat. He's earned his time today. Yes, he has. Number two, I think, is it number two came on for him? Number two came on. That is Ortega. Ortega. But, yes, as we were saying, though, before that uh, chance by Bustamante, the final will be next Sunday. Just not sure what time yet. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Atlantic Soccer Media Group, and we'll have the information on the final over there for you. So your free kick here in the corner here by FC Birmingham, headed away. And we get another whistle here. So we're in the 71st minute now. Like we said, John, this is when you start to get a little desperate with trying to get some sort of positive play. At this point, with the seven substitutes, if I was FC Birmingham coach, I would go ahead and throw on everybody that I had on the bench just to give them a shot. Yeah, and put the pressure on, play up. It's not Sanchez an easy job. Play up a little bit too. You know, head co you know, coach Gregol has had a really good season. It's his third season as the coach of FC Birmingham. It's his second season as a head coach of the U23s. I think he did a good job with the U23s. Almost oh, definitely. Well, finished third in the division, second or third in the division, made it to the semifinals. Definitely been a good season for FC Birmingham. And there's a foul here. I think you call that tug there. It's going to be interesting to see how teams restructure with the changes that are being made for the for the spring season 2023 here in the UPSL Georgia Conference as teams that have multiple squads like we have with FC Birmingham having these being their U23s they will find themselves in the reserves and the nice thing for that is now that allows FC Birmingham to have one roster so you don't have to worry about needing to move players around before it comes playoff time. You're able to utilize that one solid roster. I Meanwhile, well, a nice defensive play there by Taylor Fish getting back to throw an opportunity, possible opportunity there by FC Birmingham there on the, on the right wing. And now here's a break. Oh, he's offside. Flag is up. Yeah, that was number nine. Breakthrough this. Herrera broke through for Dalton, but he was offside. You know, that's that's always been one of my pet peeves with this new system that they have for the referees. The AR calls the offsides, but the center official can elect to wait to call the offsides until the play has resolved. But you just run the risk of players getting injured by doing that. 
Yeah, that's, that's very true. And, and you said the AR, uh, AR did, ha did have the flag up for quite some time before they finally blew the whistle, but it was offside nonetheless. But, you know, Sanchez, he had to come out and try and make a play on it. Because at the end of the day, the call is correct. The call is, is handled. And you see a foul there and a yellow card issued to number 52. At the end of the day, the call is correct. It's just I wish it would be a little bit quicker, in my opinion, because I think it just leads to the potential of players getting hurt. That foul was on number 52, Reyes. Yeah, nothing would be more frustrating to get hurt on a play that should have already been whistled dead. Going to be a substitute for Dalton. Number three, Gonzalez, is coming on. They also have another substitute ready. Trying to see who it was that was substituted. Yeah, so it looks like they're trying to get most everyone here in the game. I want to say it was number 22, Medina, that was substituted, but I'm not 100%. Number six, Orlana is coming on. I hope looks I said like that right. Fish. Looks like that's Taylor Fish coming off, I believe. And it is number four, it looks like. And he's taken a couple really good hits. Uh, that was number, yep, number four, Fish. And he's had a couple really hard challenges that he's been the victim of. of yes <laughs> all right fc birmingham now starting to press near they need goals and they need a bunch of them now but dalton has been up to the task turning him away every time so burley he's played a good game defensively for dalton he's been playing the whole match Again, a lot of quick passes back and forth with Dalton, keeping the ball away from Birmingham. Showing a lot of patience here. Finally now Bustamante giving chase here. They need to press if uh, make something happen. Birmingham does. And that ball is going to go off on your hero, Larry, for Birmingham. Going to be thrown here for... Dalton. It's right in the 76 minute now. Getting late in Denmark, as they say, for FC Birmingham. And getting dark here at Southern Crescent Stadium here in Riverdale, Georgia. On a wet and rainy afternoon and early evening. Second match of our two semifinals today. If you missed the first one, Earlier today, Atlanta FC Academy defeating Kalanji Pro Profile U23 is 1 0. They won it on a penalty kick late in the second half, and that goal stood up. And here, 4 0, Dalton United enjoys the lead over FC Birmingham. Ball back in play. Trying to get it to the man in the middle, but turned away here by FC Birmingham. They're going to try and break out of their half of the field here. Long ball attempt. Bustamante goes down, trying to get that to his teammate. No foul called. Bustamante got up looking for a foul. You know, John, that even though it shows on the schedule that Dalton United and FC Birmingham were the first match. They really didn't play until the third week because it was postponed the first match. So these two teams hadn't seen each other until September 24th with Dalton United with that 7-0 victory at home. And it's just pretty much just the same. Yeah, they're hoping for FC Birmingham that that was long, long enough ago to kind of put that at the back or out of their mind here. But, uh, again, though, just being dominated here today by Dalton. Definitely looking like the better team this afternoon. 
as Aberle moves up to take control of that ball. So FC Birmingham moving in the middle now. They're going to switch it over to Gonzalez here on the right wing. He gives it to Ortega. Ortega gives it back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets taken down hard. Outside of the box, though. That was a nasty challenge, John. It was, and uh, the Birmingham player. And that is a, s a similar type of challenge yeah. that happened last weekend, except that time it was Dalton being the one that was taken down that resulted in some of that awful items that took place afterwards. Let's take a look at this. Loses possession and just. Yeah, it just goes down hard on the play. And, uh, and like we said, cold, rainy, concrete underneath that turf. He felt that. Yeah, this may not, this may not be too good here, Larry. They got uh, some Dalton players standing around looking as well. And, you know, it's. it's it could be seriously hurt here. Here Larry. comes the trainer to look at him. You know, and we had that situation last week where we had a long stoppage in the match with Laminos, Georgia's U-20s, where they had the collision between their keeper and their defender, which resulted in the defender being knocked unconscious. And emergency services had to be called. There was a long delay as he was assessed, luckily he was able to get up on his own and walk off the pitch. Definitely hope he is doing much, much better this week. Would definitely say not a good idea to be on the pitch for a few weeks with a collision like that. It was a severe concussion to say the least. Yeah, I was going to say with a concussion like that, yeah, you definitely need to uh – Take some time to heal from that, but meanwhile, uh oh, John, we're seeing that that elusive magic spray being <laughs> unleashed. We'll see if it works or not. But uh, He's keeping all the players around, he doesn't want us to see the label where he is collecting yeah. such magic. Well, let's hope it's not serious, though. But with all the attention that's uh, being made there, by especially by. Yeah, and I think at this and, uh, at this point, with players. it being in, in the 81st minute, John, uh, we're we're just now at letting it finalize, just going through the motions as uh, Dalton United is going to end yeah, this match. They're going to have to carry him off. It's possible. Hopefully, it's not a broken something, but we, uh, and of course, unfortunately, he ends up getting a yellow card for his injury. Not only was he the 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 person that was injured in the collision he ends up getting a yellow card for his troubles yep. they call that adding insult to injury literally and he's gonna have to be substituted there's already a substitute for dalton united at the center ready to go it's going to be number 17 serato that'll be coming on yeah well let's hope it's not too serious although it uh it looks like it could be potentially pretty bad though being having to be carried off by two of your teammates not a good sign at all. Our thoughts out to him. Hope he will be okay and and it's nothing too too bad. But after all this though, Dalton will get a free kick here. I think he could have been replaced by eighty one Jaden Harris. I just have to double check. No, here comes the substitute right here. That would be number 80. That is Riyad Burgum. That's coming on for FC Birmingham. Yeah, number 17 subs in for... That's number for 20 Dalton. for Medina. All right, finally... Back under play again, and 
The free kick goes off FC Birmingham. Ooh, and we'll we're do just this again. John, we're getting word that the diagnosis on the field was a dislocated knee. Ugh. With a two and a half hour drive back to Birmingham, that's going to have to be looked at, I would think, locally. Yeah, I was going to say they might want to look at it here somewhere. Go to an urgent care center around here. Here comes number 51. On for FC Birmingham. So, potential last game here. Let's get everyone in play. Yeah, Cameron Pearson. You know, we we got to call that match just a while back during the regular season where Pearson was able to score a goal, and you would have thought that he had won the lottery. He was so excited when he was able to get that ball in the back of the net. Dalton's going to get a corner now out of this. Another substitute for Birmingham ready to go. Yeah, I said they're getting trying to get everyone in the game here. It looks like they're just conceding the match here, it seems. And number 55, Richardson coming on. And almost was able to get a foot on that. It was Hernandez. Yeah, at this point, there's only about six minutes left plus stoppage time. We could see as much as maybe five minutes of stoppage time, John? Possibly. We'll see what the referee decides to do so with that. So you, you had the potential of these guys getting maybe ten minutes of play. As Valenciano had an opportunity there to pick up a hat trick, but nonetheless gets away from a bit and goes out. Be a throw in for FC Birmingham. FC Birmingham here would at least like to put one on the board here and not get shut out twice here by Dalton. Which is definitely looking like a possibility here. Now Dalton's going to get a free kick now. In about 15 yards, 15, 16 yards or so from the box in the center. That's Hernandez who put that one in from before he won't take this one though as I said as Larry mentioned earlier Hernandez had perhaps the the goal of the playoffs and and like you were saying you know Birmingham wanting to get a goal it's what so many other teams wanted against this Dalton United team nine clean sheets out of ten games played in the regular season just a, a stat that just we haven't seen in I don't I don't even think that we've seen that all here. In, I know in I haven't UPSL seen that Georgia. yet. In my, in my time covering the UPSL, I have not seen that. We've yet. had some really really good teams, but I even even the likes of Jenga Atlanta have never put these types of numbers on the board. No, I mean sixty plus goals and conceding only two in the UPSL when you know goal scoring is certainly not uncommon. We do see some uh, some crooked scores, some crooked numbers, as they say, in the UPSL. So to, to only concede two is just tremendous. In our time, John, the craziest result we ever witnessed was Kalanji taking on Stone Mountain and putting 22 past them. Yeah, I was not there for that game, but um, definitely if there was a, uh, a mercy rule in the UPSL, it should have been employed that day. Meanwhile, we got eight. I wouldn't even call it a shot attempt, just a little push forward here. Take some time off the clock by, uh, by Dalton here. Sanchez now going to do a goal kick. As time is winding down here on FC Birmingham season. But as we mentioned, a season to be proud of. Well, for the entire the entire FC Birmingham organization, 
they had a really, really successful season. They have to really feel proud. You know, you look at the Premier side, a major change coming in week three, deciding to sack Coach McCardo and moving to bring Coach Goldfar back out of retirement. And what a world of difference that made, Larry. And he just brought another level to that squad. They ended up making the playoffs. Unfortunately, we're not able to get past Vino Tinto. A team that they beat, they defeated in the regular season as, as well. Yeah, it was, and and like Coach Goldfarb said, that was his second match that he was in charge, and he said, really probably maybe shouldn't, or probably shouldn't have won that. He said it was a good, solid fight, and they ended up the victors there at Silverbacks Park. And their playoff match was just as, as hard fought as well. So that's a possible rivalry if uh, if those two uh, face each other again here in the future. Sanchez with the long ball here. But you look at some of the Bustamante players that. Again, just a shot from distance, yeah, not on frame. That's, that's, that's about that's the best they've been able to manage. Yeah, you look at some of these players that Birmingham's organization has been able to create you've got Giancarlo Bustamante in the premiere talks of Tyreek Davis the wall Lemur Cosmos Azuru one of the best goalkeepers in in the premier division for sure oh there's a big shot from uh, Valenciano Sanchez was able to get over to it our our, our golden boot winner for the premier division Jose Villanueva. Yes, and congratulations again to Jose Villanueva. Nine goals in the Premier Division earns him the golden boot for the fall 2022 season. Had a chance to have a little brief interview with him earlier. A very nice young man. Very gracious. He is, and he's a very, very humble gracious. man. Very humble, yes. We'll be able to – we'll showcase that interview on our Instagram page a little bit later. But the future is bright for FC Birmingham. Oh, most definitely. You have not seen the last of FC Birmingham for sure. Here we are in extra time now. We'll just see how much time we actually do get. Like I said, maybe five or six minutes, especially some of the injuries that we sustained in this second half. And see the. Here we go, Dalton. Now, oh, overstepped the ball there. Could have had a chance there going down the left wing. And there's another foul there by Dalton. Or excuse me, by Birmingham on Dalton. Yeah, but then again, it wouldn't surprise me if they only have a few minutes of extra time here, considering the score and the conditions out here. I'm sure everyone at this point wants to get off the field now. Yeah, right now the hearts and minds of FC Birmingham are on their fallen Patriot. Meanwhile, we had a scramble there in front of the goal. Sanchez flopping around, able to finally cover up that ball and keep a fifth off the scoreboard. But, yeah, you hate to see that uh, that's serious of an injury late in the game. We'll hope he's okay. Hopefully they get him checked out before uh, before he goes back home here. Yeah, he was just carried completely to the locker room. Hopefully afterwards, after the match, we may be able to hear from FC Birmingham's staff as to his condition. As Valenciano there trying to work his way into the box here. He does. He gets a shot off, but right at Sanchez. Sanchez up to the task. <laughs> FC Birmingham trying to break out of their side of the field here, and Dalton will just not let them. Just just been a complete game here by Dalton. There's offside here. 
offside on that play. But a, a complete uh, game here by Dalton, uh, and they look great out here. And it's, I'll tell you this, FC Atlanta Academy is going to have all, all they can handle with Dalton yeah, United yellow, in the final. Yellow card issued there for just blasting that ball away. Yep, just uh, delay kind of, of game, if you will. Yeah, a little silliness. Yes, un, unwarranted. You're up by four, no need. A little foul, a little push in the back on Bustamante. Yeah, so referee still calling it tight here. He wants to keep things on the level here. Generally speaking, it's always the end of the match when things like Well, yeah, that when happen. the game's out of hand, you know, and the frustration set in, you might do some things that you ordinarily wouldn't do. No. And that's what happened last week with FC Atlanta Academy. They or Atlanta City Academy, I'm sorry. Atlanta City, they knew that they were that they had lost four to two and a player just lost himself. Uh, Bustamante Bustamante gets the goal. What a shot. Had the free kick here. We'll see the replay. Bustamante able to get at least something out of this match. And then again, another. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> nice decision, just kicked that ball away there. But anyway. Monte. Perfect shot over the keeper. What can you say about that? Yeah, he told Mr. Hernandez, hey, I can do this too, you know. Yeah, that's a. So good, good job by Bustamante. And they avoid the shutout. 4-1 now is the score. Good to see uh, FC Birmingham get one late here and avoid getting shut out for the second time by Dalton. And they're not done yet. They're looking for more here, Larry. Again, like we said, not quite sure how many mi extra minutes we're going to have with some of these injury times. They're going to have a throw in here for Dalton, or a free kick, rather. They sent it long. FC Birmingham able to put it Is that it? That's going to be it, Larry. So we reach full time. And that is going to be it. Dalton United FC win 4 1 over Birmingham U23s. And that sets up our final for on December 18th FC Academy versus Dalton United. You don't want to miss that one, folks. So, Larry, your final thoughts on the match? Just an overwhelming performance by Dalton United yet again really just nothing that FC Birmingham could do against them from the first whistle they just controlled the match from from whistle to whistle and just continue to prove how dominant they are here in the UPSL Georgia Division One yeah I just cannot uh overstate the kind of dominating season regular season that uh Dalton United FC has had and uh, and they've dominated their two uh, playoff games here on their way to the final. We'll see if FC Atlanta Academy can uh, can stand up to the task here and see if they can knock off this giant of uh, Dalton United. We'll see. And this will be East versus West. These teams haven't seen each other, so it'll be a really fun match here. Hopefully, yeah. it'll be a nice sunny day. We'll find out next Sunday. Yes, indeed. Yeah, first first meeting between these two. It should be interesting. Don't miss it, folks. Well, that is going to do it for us this uh, evening, folks. Again, your final score, Dalton United 4, Birmingham U23s 1. You've just watched the UPSL Georgia Division 1 West semifinal here presented by Atlantic Soccer Media Group. want to thank our camera person, Krishna Bomar, and our cameraman, Andre Bomar, for braving the elements today. I want to thank my partner here, Larry Weaver. My name is John Reno. We will see you all next time on the pitch. Good night, everybody.
Thank you for watching the Atlantic Soccer Media Group's coverage of UPSL Soccer.